Today, we are looking at what's hiding underneath that evening gown of the late 18th century. We are starting, as usually, with a banyan and a linen shift or chemise. Regrettably, this is a slightly earlier chemise, um, as I forgot my latest style, but hey, we'll have to do. Stockings are already on, held together by woven garters. The stockings of that era would be either in wool, linen or silk, depending on the weather and the season. These ones are silk. Next layer, stays. 1790s were quite a revolutionary period, and not only because of political changes in France, the fashion was undergoing a lot of changes, and one of them was stays. Um, the fashion was slowly moving from distracted stays towards a high bosom um, Greek revival styles, and these ones are transitional stays, so they are much shorter than earlier styles. And these are based, these ones are based on the Patterns of Fashions, the, the newest book, and they are made in that cotton, linen, lots of linen, and some silk, so they are silk covered stays. There you go. They are boned with um, artificial whalebone, obviously at the time it would be real whalebone. And gloves in the front. So the silhouette was quite different, but let's see how they look when they're on. As you can see, the emphasis at the moment is not so much on flattening the chest, but the opposite. Boobs out, basically. Um, very much a pigeon chest look, very fashionable in the 90s. So that's how it's achieved. You can still get nice back support and support here, but it's nothing like before. Right, next layer. Mm -hmm. The silhouette by using a little bustle pad to support the pleats. Um, the petticoats of that era are usually either bodice like this one or on straps for the very simple reason that once you have a higher waist of the dresses, petticoats have to go a little bit higher and it's difficult to keep them higher without any other method of suspension. Right. Again, dresses lost the rigid form and are quite light 
Still a couple of minutes and we've gone out to high waist. was really pretty simple drawstrings quite a lot of that and you'll see a lot of that in the next few decades very easy to adjust depending on how much you've eaten or whether you're pregnant or not Turban stars were very popular at the time, and that's what it takes just a length of silk. This one is padded with the same decoration. Just put it on the head. You can't hear anything either. same kind of gown, called a round gown, could be used for either evening version or, or a day one with longer sleeves. And the round gowns take popular for a few more decades. Bling. Looks like my bling is broken. No. Oh well. No bling. At least I can put gloves. Shoes. Original gloves were usually made of leather. So these ones are original antique ones. Unfortunately they're too tiny for my meaty arms. So it's not going to work. No. Maybe, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Oh well. Substitute.
Jesus. Looks to you.